Hi guys, coming at you with another video. Um, I'm pardon me for my face right now. I'm not wearing any makeup and um, I'm casual right now just because I'm a normal person and not everyone wears makeup every single day and not everyone gets dressed up every single day and so casual day, casual me. And um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about being a cam model and entering the dating scene because it's not easy to find someone out there who is going to be okay with what you do because guys are very territorial and um, you know people are very some people are very closed-minded some people are very open-minded there's just a lot of different people that you're gonna run into and a question that I get is you know, I'm talking to someone, I'm dating someone, but I don't know if I should tell them what I do. I don't know if I should tell them, you know, my job. And my advice for you would be, why not? You know, don't they deserve to know every aspect of you? Shouldn't you be open, upfront, and honest? Um, I'm not saying, hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm a cam model. Like, I'm just saying that if they ask you what you do, why not be honest? Just like if you were to ask someone if they have children and they told you they didn't have children and then you find out later on that they had children, you would feel lied to. You would feel disrespected. So if someone asks you what your job is and you tell them that you're doing something completely different and then they find out that you're not and you're lying to them down the line, um, I feel like that person would be like, wow, this, this, you know, what else have you lied about? Why are you not being honest? And so I think that if you're going to make the decision to become a cam model, that you should be honest with everyone that you come in contact with. You should be, you made the choice to do what you do, so be proud of your choices and own up to them. Um, whenever I'm talking to someone and I'm, I'm dating someone and they ask me, so what are you doing now? I let them know. Like, in my spare time, I am a cam model. And I know that some of you are thinking, oh, well, then they're just going to want one thing from you. They're just going to want sex from you. They're going to consider you an object. They're going to consider you as a, you know, a sex toy. My mom told me the same advice. Like, when you're talking to someone, don't let them know what you do because they're going to look at you in a different way. And I'm here to say no because just because you do something and made the choice to do something doesn't define who you are. Your actions and the way that you portray yourself define who you are. So if you tell them that you're a cam model and then you act like a woman and you act like a classy lady and you set your boundaries, you know, you're still a classy woman, you're still a classy lady, and you still have these boundaries. If you tell them that you're a cam model and then you're like, oh yeah, I'm ready to have fun tonight, of course they're going to look at you that way. But if you tell them, this is what I do, but this doesn't define me, I still have standards, I still have, like, I still have rules that I live by, I'm not going to sleep with you on the first date, I still want to take this and, and consider it a serious date, and you let them know your personality, and you show them other aspects of you that are more important than the choice of your job, then they're going to treat you like a normal human being. I haven't ran into any problems with being a cam model when it comes to dating. And I'm in the dating scene right now, and I let every single person know, like, this is what I do in my spare time, but it doesn't define who I am. If you want to get to know me more after what I've told you, then I'm, you know, then let's, let's go for it. If not, I completely understand. Not everyone is okay with it. And I let them make that choice. And if they say, oh, well, you know, I don't care. I'm the last person to ju judge anyone. Then we continue talking and we continue to know each other. And I continue to show my personality and who I am. And then I have these boundaries. And then I have these, you know, that I'm not just a toy. And I'm not just this one person that you think that I am because of my job. No. I, you know, I'm still very respectable human being. I'm still a very respectable person because of the way that I portray myself and the way that I act and the way that I answer things and the way that I talk and the way that I am. You know, my job does not define me. Um, it is it is a choice that I've made and I stand by it. It is a choice that I've made and I'm okay with it. And if you're not okay with it, then you don't deserve to be in my life because the person that I'm going to end up with forever, the person that I'm going to end up with in a relationship is going to respect me and respect my decisions. 
and they're going to love me and all of my decisions that I make. And that's that's the qualifications of having that person in my life. And that should be the qualifications that you have as well. The person that you are with should respect you and honor the decisions that you're making. So why not see if they respect the decisions that you're making by telling them those decisions? And you'll be surprised that a lot of people they don't care. You know, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has regrets. Everyone does things that they're not proud of. So even if you consider, you know, your choice as becoming a cam model as something that you should be ashamed of, which I don't think you should, but even if you do, uh, people are very accepting, especially if you're willing to accept other people people are very accepting of you. And I feel like that's how we should all be. I'm accepting of you. Whether or not I want to allow you in my life is my decision, but I'm going to accept you as a human being and I'm going to accept you as a person and and not judge you for who you are. I'm just going to accept who you are and determine if that's someone that I want to form a relationship with in my life. But I'm not going to demean you or turn you down in any type of um, verbal way just because of any of the choices that you're making or the things that you're doing. Like if you tell me, for example, if I'm talking to someone and they tell me that they're, you know, they're a heavy drinker, that's not really something that I want to allow in my life. I don't want to date an alcoholic, but I will accept them for who they are. I will continue to speak to them as a person, but I will let them know that I don't feel like there is a relationship match between us, but I do feel like you know, we can be platonic if you'd like to continue this into a platonic matter. If not, I completely understand. Like, and it's the same way how people are going to treat you. And once they hear that you do what you do, they're going to say, well, you know, that's not something that I accept in my life. But I, you know, I accept you as a human being. And if you want to continue being friends, let's continue being friends. Like, you just, you never know. But you have to stand by yourself. You have to stand by yourself in your decisions. And part of that is being honest with people around you. Because how are you going to be honest with yourself if you're not going to be honest with anyone else? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people that are around you. And be honest with the people that you're going to allow in your life. Because you want them to be honest with you. And because you want them to accept you for everything that you are. And if you're not everything that you are out in the open, how are you going to know whether or not they accept you? And that is just my girl to girl or girl to guy or girl to normal person. This is how I would talk to a friend. And that's the advice that I would tell them. And that's what I think can help you out in your dating life is being honest, being honest 100% and accepting. Accepting others is the key to accepting yourself and having others accept you. The truth will set you free and you shouldn't be ashamed of any of your choices because that's you. Your, your personality is your choices, believe it or not. Like, they make you who you are. And whether or not they're right or wrong in anyone else's eyes is not your problem. You worry about what you think and what you feel and what makes you happy with yourself. And if you enjoy what you do and you are happy with who you are, then the outside is just the outside. And it shouldn't matter or affect you. And when you get to that point in your life where you worry about you and you care about what you think more than you care what anyone else thinks, you have power and you have freedom. And you should use that and reach for the stars. Because once you break through that fear of rejection, that fear of caring what anyone else thinks, you can be you 100% and that's powerful. Thanks. I hope this helps you guys in some type of way. <laughs> See you on my next video.